Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. A lot of you guys have been asking for the Robins, but we can't tell you about each of the Robins' origins without telling you the origin of the first Robin, Dick Grayson. Now before you go, oh god, comic story, and I know this one. Do you, do you know his history? Because there's more to this story in the New 52 version. Richard Dick Grayson had two loving parents and he himself was the model child. Loving, caring, and when it was his mother's birthday, he even picked out the best gift for her. But of course, he wouldn't tell his father. It needed to be a secret to both of them. You see, the Graysons were a well-known circus act in the Haley Circus, so Richard's days were filled with fun and excitement. And on the night of his mother's birthday, Richard sat outside of his parents' trailer, and he listened as his mother opened the gift. It was a golden bracelet with two robins kissing on it. It was perfect, and she loved it. He just sat outside the trailer smiling as he heard them talking about how perfect of a gift it was. But that night, tragedy struck for Richard as it does with most superheroes. The circus was tapped on funding, and because of this, they skimped on the safety precautions. Both of Richard's parents fell to their deaths in front of the entire audience, and in front of Richard himself. And the audience, though, was Bruce Wayne, and he saw the terror in the young boy's eyes as his entire life washed away that day. So he took a special interest in Richard that day, and he followed him for the next two weeks. The death of his parents was placed on a man who failed to properly set up the safety precautions, and Richard went on a warpath looking for that man, the man named Tony Zuko. But Batman watched from a distance as a young Richard ran in risking his life to get his revenge, and on one night in which Richard would have received a bullet to the head, Batman leaped in to rescue him. He then brought Richard to the Batcave that night, and Richard put it together. Batman hadn't been following Zuko. He had been following Richard to protect him. And Batman didn't deny it. As a matter of fact, he removed his cowl, revealing to Richard that he was Bruce Wayne. He then offered to help train Richard to fight against Zuko, to turn his rage into a true passion and something that could protect Gotham City. So they spent the next few months turning the acrobat Richard Grayson into the superhero sidekick of Batman. And on one fall evening, Bruce Wayne walked over and he saw Richard doodling designs for his costume. But Bruce agreed that the designs that Richard had drawn didn't work. They didn't speak to him as a person. And that's when Richard saw two Robins flying nearby. Bruce told him, the Robin is a sign of hope and rebirth in some cultures, almost a sign of growing up. So with that, Robin was born, and he went on to fight with Batman in many battles, and he became one of the strongest allies Batman has ever had. And on the anniversary of his parents' death, he decided he wanted to remember them, but he wasn't sure how. It was Alfred Pennyworth that recommended that he remember them by living up to his namesake, the Robin. So every year on the anniversary of his parents' death, he lives his life to the fullest, to remember the good times. Now, as many of you know, Richard Grayson worked with Batman for a very long time, but eventually, it was time for him to grow up, and he became the superhero known as Nightwing, allowing Jason Todd to take over as Robin. And then eventually, his identity was revealed to the world, and he became known as the Spy Grayson. We do have a video explaining his transition to Grayson, so you're gonna have to check it out sometime. And as for Jason Todd, he's the next Robin that we're going to be covering. I don't think you're aware of just how deep the Joker was in his history. As usual, I'm Benny the Comic Storian, and you can follow us on Twitter at Comic Storian or our subreddit r slash Comic Storian. Don't forget, we also have a video game variety channel and a list based channel known as Eligible Monster Gaming and List Bomb. You can find both of those in the description down below, and I will see you guys next time right here.